Hi, my name is Ryan Lane, and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing Men, starring uh, Jesse Buckley as Harper Marlowe, uh, Roy Kinner, Roy Kinnear as Jeffrey, and other roles, which I, I will get to in a moment, and Papa Asidu as James Marlowe, and it is directed by Alex Garland. So, anyway, this film tells the story of Harper Marlowe, a uh, woman whose husband recently died and she has now decided to go out to a uh, relatively far away cottage for some uh, well, well needed R&R. Uh, &R. So, h however, when she goes there, she notices that something's not quite right with the men of the town and that's sort of where the uh, that's where the real problems begin so let's start off with the performances the performances they are really good like uh, let's see here so Jesse Buckley she it really commands a screen as a strong yet vulnerable woman who's who has conflicting feelings over the death of her husband who and who, due to some various amounts of gaslighting, projection, and other just overall icky human attributes about her husband, she feels haunted by it. And uh, also, Roy Kinnear, he so he it plays multiple roles in the film, with some of them being in the same shot, which is just will always be an amazing special effect for me, just in terms of how well uh, the actress interacts with all of them in a given shot. It's it's really good. Um, and basically, he takes on multiple roles, ranging from a landlord to a priest to a, uh, to a butt-ass naked man who roams throughout the forest. And... Basically, all of these roles sort of explore the various facets of sexism, ranging from the overt to the blatant. And it's all really fascinating and kind of seeing how, through various means, they manipulate and otherwise make uh, the main protagonist, uh, Harper's life, much more difficult than it already needs to be. Um, also, the, the score, it's really good. It combines the... Uh, a diegetic and non-diegetic sounds very well into a very haunting score and even uses a it samples a like this voice echo that uh the harper does at a at a tunnel to great effect all and the cinematography it uses center framing really well and hones in on jesse buckley's face a lot which is a good detail because her performance really sells the uh, conflicting emotions she is feeling, wise choice on the director's part. What wasn't a wise choice on the director's part was the uh, the supernatural element. So the the film throughout the film, you will get the feeling that I got the feeling that the film, the director is trying to create a connection between the sexism of promoted by the ma male characters in the film and 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 nature more or death question mark i don't know it's it's clearly ambiguous but it just it feels too ambiguous to a fault like in any given shot like i had a very hard time telling what exactly or just like in a general sense what the director was trying to communicate with nature, like especially regarding the uh, butt naked man, like at one point his body starts, well, I I won't spoil it, but at one point his body starts going through some interesting changes, let's say, and clearly it's part of the film's uh, like trying nexus between sexism and, me and and nature, but I I don't know, I just couldn't quite get it per se, and the cinematography also spends. A little bit too much time focusing on nature not all, too much like it does have it clearly has a point and it does make for an effective suspenseful sequence at one point near the beginning of the film but it just feels a bit too indulgent however I actually know it and well yes to that but also near the third act and the climax of the film it gets excessively repetitious like 
at one point I found myself, it's like, okay, all right, you've, you've made your point. Let's, come on, let's wrap this up. However, thankfully, it does, when it does wrap up, it has, it does wrap up and it has in an interesting and compelling manner that leaves it up to audience interpretation in a in a good way in a good way but yeah so yeah and let's see what else oh yeah the film does get rather gory and and it does do so very well like like it does get creative the only time where i felt like a bit of my uh, disbelief being pushed was like with a hand slicing effect but i feel like just the imagery of the set piece outweighed the the uh, technical limitations of the special effects. So with that in mind, so thanks. So uh, great performances and the film's horror-driven sexism approach, or the the film's uh, horror, which is rooted in sexism and the great performances, they're all kind of weighed down a bit by some overly indulgent directorial choices regarding. Uh, the imagery. So with all that in mind, I will be giving men four out of five stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day.